So September, and uh, we're all thinking about what we're going to wear because it's not that cold, but it's not that hot. So it's always autumn is a bit confusing. It can get confusing. One piece that I know that we all kind of know about or either have in our wardrobe or we don't know how to wear is the trench coat. So there's so many variations. For years, I keep trying on trench coats and I'm like, something is wrong. They don't suit me nicely. So then I kind of break it down. Okay, what does, what does work and what doesn't? So there is this classic um, style and design of a trench coat, which has those two flaps here or one flap here. And it kind of adds volume here. So if you don't want to have a lot of volume here, try to find a trench coat that doesn't have that. That is just, you know, the color and that's it or the button down one. So it doesn't have to be, you know, here with the, those two flaps and also those epaulets here. So it kind of adds on your top, um, top half. So yeah, be aware of that because I was always, I don't like it. I don't know what's wrong with it. And then I kind of find what's what works for me also. Also the fabric. Well, when we are talking about trench coats, many coats have that same design. They kind of get inspired from it, but basically it's um, rainproof um, fabric to be, on, to be able to wear it, even if it drizzles a little bit, but it's not like it's quite thin. So there are many variations to it. It could be something really, really thin where it will feel like a duster, but it will still be waterproof or something really thick. So again, if it's really thick, it might not feel right here or it might not be structured right. So kind of try it around and see what works and what doesn't. Because sometimes when they're really thick, they look cheap or they don't suit nicely. I would say if you wanna go for a cheaper version of a trench coat, try to um, go for a lighter fabric, which it will go, it will fit better, it will flow better rather than something really, structured and thick because if it's not you know Burberry then yeah <laughs> the problems will occur and um, talking about the Burberry trench coat which of course is a classic and even Burberry has done many variations through the years of it but yeah I think what kind of makes it a classic it's the color which fits with everything it's a neutral one but that doesn't mean that you cannot play around if you have one neutral one and you a bit bored of it or whatever there are colored ones, like I have a classic one without the flaps, without the flaps, but I have another one that it's a yellow mustard kind of thing. And this year I'm thinking about pink or maybe red. So yeah, you can play around with colors. There are many options out there. So I've done a Pinterest board to kind of show you around about the options that you can have and you can wear. It doesn't have to be the classic version if that's not what you want. And also later this week, I'm gonna do a shopping spree and we can see the shops right now, High Street or maybe more alternative ones. What do they have in terms of trench coat if you wanna go and buy something? So let me share my screen. Uh, I know my internet is not great today, so I hope you can hear me and everything works well. So let me share my screen. It will take a while. <laughs> Everything is quite slow today, but yeah, we'll get there. Let's see. Here we are. So let me see. Why is it taking so long? My goodness. Finally, we did it. So let's see if I can move things around. Oh, takes forever today. Okay. Let's start from the beginning, hopefully. So here you can see the uh, classic Burberry trench coat, which you can see what really makes it unique. It has to do with their lining, the lining underneath, which has the classic Burberry print. 
but I just posted this one as well. So you can see that they are trying to make variations of it. So this is a Burberry one, but it's like, I think a couple of years ago. So you definitely can find something fresher if you want to go for designer. But also you can see here, the flaps is only on one side and they kind of done a double breasted one. So there are many different ways to do the trench coat. You can see here again, they've done um, not only the lining, but the colors and the flap here. But you can go for something totally different like this one here that has prints on it and do something like printed, but also kind of keep um, on the background the neutral color, which reminds you of the trench coat. This is a nice example because you can see here, it doesn't have any flaps. It's totally like this uh, button down and it's shorter. So it's perfect for every day. You can wear it on the school run or whatever. You have to do any errands. It goes with everything. So that's a really nice idea. This is a classic one, of course. This is a different color that I was talking about. And you can see here, this one is more like a duster. A yellow one is similar to the one that I have. It does have the flaps, but it's because it doesn't have any buttons or any belts, you kind of wear it very loose and very, you know, cool. Here you see different colors. Here you see this one, which is um, inspired by a trench coat, but it doesn't, it does have the design of it, but it's black. It has uh, threads, uh, um, outlining threads. It's quite different. So you can go for something like that if you don't want to go classical. And uh, this one here you see doesn't have any belts. It's like a more of an oversized. This one here is from Michael Kors and has some frills here. Uh, on the side, if that's what you want to go for. Let's see what other difference here. You can see here, this one has um, the one that I, I'm pointing out now, I think, I hope you can see it, which has a different color, like the lining, kind of like the Burberry one, but with big sleeves and big like color. So there, are, there you are playing around, which is a good thing actually, because um, if you're kind of get you're bored of your classic um, trench coat, or maybe <clears throat> you don't feel like it suits you, you can find something else. You can see here in green or light blue or gray, many ways to do it. You can see here, this is a short one, double-breasted one. So they are from Nasty Gal. So this is a nice way to do something like casual. Again, you see here, this goes just under the hips and it doesn't have any buttons. So it does, it ju you just built it. So you can see there are many variations. Let me stop sharing. I guess it will take a while to stop sharing because yeah, it's very slow today. So I hope that helps a little bit because you can see it doesn't have to have a belt, doesn't have to have the flaps, it doesn't have to have the classical color. And even if you wanna go for the classic color, you need you can go like double breasted or you can go just with no buttons at all, or you can have the flap on one side. Uh, there are like the world is your oyster <clears throat> and they are affordable and more uh, luxurious items out there. So I will do a shopping spree, you know, my classic shopping spree that we do every month. And I will kind of research what's happening on the high street and beyond. And I will um, yeah, share with you some suggestions uh, in case you're out there looking for a trench coat. And please let me know if you have any questions or anything. So when I record my shopping spree, I will answer them to you. Uh, yeah, welcome all back. I hope you're all back now from holidays and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.